Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a USB outlet so that you can charge your phone or if you wanna plug something else into one of these USB outlets. So we've got our traditional outlet here and we're gonna show you how to wire up this new USB outlet. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to the outlet that you're gonna work on and you wanna make sure that the power is off. So we're just gonna plug something into it and you can see that this light turned on. So that means that we need to go ahead and go down to our circuit breaker and turn the power off for the existing outlet that we're gonna work on so that this is gonna be safe to work on. So now we're gonna go ahead, turn off the power at the circuit breaker. All right, so we turned the power off at the circuit breaker and you can see the light is now off. That's why I recommend that you plug something in so that when you have the circuit breaker off, you'll know that the power is no longer going through that device or that circuit. So now we're just gonna take this out and we're going to remove the cover on the existing outlet. Now, it's always a good idea if you have one to use a non-contact voltage meter like we have here, just to double check to make sure that the power is off on the circuit or electrical device you're working on. So we'll just throw this in here and we don't get any kind of reading. There's no beeps, there's no lights that light up when we put this device next to the terminals. If there was power, this would beep and the lights up here would light up telling us that we need to make sure that the power is off. But right now, this is indicating there is no power on this device, so we're gonna go forward with removing the two screws and remove the existing outlet. Now that we have the screws removed from the outlet and junction box, we can pull the outlet out so that we can access the wiring here. So we've got our hot wire here, we've got our ground wire here, and on the other side, we have our neutral wire right there in white. So you wanna make sure that you take a picture of your existing wiring. So take a second here and make sure that you take a picture or label these wires if you need to. So we're just going to remove the ground wire, the hot wire, and the neutral wire now. So now we have the wires removed from the existing outlet and we're ready to wire them up to the new USB outlet that we're going to install. So on the back of the USB outlet here, it will show you where the wires go. On the back it says white or the neutral wire is going to go in this bottom terminal and the hot wire or the black wire is going to go in this top terminal here. So all we need to do is loosen these up a little bit so that we can get those wires on there and then secure them with these screws. And then you can see down here at the bottom, we've got that ground terminal, that green one, and we're gonna put this unshielded copper wire or you may have a green wire for the ground on that ground terminal. So now all we're gonna do is just go ahead and wire these up. So the first one we'll do is we'll put the neutral wire on this lower terminal here that's silver, and just make sure that you look at those designations on your individual terminals. Now, sometimes the loops will get bent a little bit out of shape when you remove them from the existing outlet. So just take some pliers and you can get that loop kind of reformed here so that you can put it on the new USB outlet. Looks like this one's probably good here, and so is the other one. So now let's go ahead and see if we can get these on here. All right, we've got our neutral wire on, so let's go ahead and tighten it down on the terminal here. Now let's take our hot wire and we're going to attach it to the hot terminal, which it says right here, hot wire, and we're gonna put it on that terminal right there. Now we've got our hot wire installed, let's go ahead and secure this. All that's left is the ground terminal, which is up here at the top, and we've got our ground wire here, so let's go ahead and get that installed. Now we've got the ground wire on, so let's go ahead and secure that terminal. Now that we have all the wires secured, let's go ahead and reinstall this USB outlet. So let's make sure that we get it right side up. And now we're just going to push it back down into the junction box with the wiring. 
and we're going to secure these two screws to the existing junction box. Now we're gonna take the outlet cover plate that we removed and we're just going to go ahead and install it and then secure it with the two provided screws. All right, now we have the cover plate reinstalled. We are ready to go turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. So let's go ahead, turn the power back on and test this out. So we've got the power back on at the circuit breaker. Let's go ahead, plug something in and see if it lights up. All right, so we know we have power to the outlet. Let's go ahead and try plugging in something to the USB outlet and see if we get charging. So we've got our USB plug installed and now let's just try plugging it into the phone. And we can see there that the phone has started to charge. The little light's on there and it showed us the charging percentage. So now you know how to replace an existing outlet and wire up a new USB outlet so that you can charge your phone or whatever other smart device you wanna plug in using a USB charger. So thank you for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. We'll also have a link to this particular USB outlet and some of the tools we use to wire it up. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.